Hello and welcome to the SAP HANA Academy. My name is Dennis Van Kampen and in this video tutorial series I will show you how to set up and manage SAP HANA system replication. In this video I will discuss performing a near zero downtime upgrade. As discussed in our concepts video on this topic, system replication supports two systems running on different SAP HANA versions of which the secondary may be of a later release. This allows you to perform an upgrade with almost no downtime. With system replication active, you can first upgrade the secondary system to a new revision and have it take over in the role of primary system. The takeover is carried out in only a few minutes and committed transactions or data is not lost. You can then do an upgrade of the primary system, which is now of course in the role of secondary. Let's take a brief look at the procedure. First, we need to run the HTB user store command on both systems and on all hosts in case of a scale out scenario because the system user password is needed to import the repository content of the new version of the software during the takeover process. Then we can upgrade the secondary, nothing special, server, client, studio, all the installed components. And when done, we then perform a takeover using either HANA Studio or on the command line, HTB NSGTO command. Next, we need to stop HANA on the primary, run HTTP UPD, HTTP update, with the flag no start equals on, and update all the other components with HTTP LCM. Then we register the system with HTTP NSGTL and start HANA. You could also perform the server installation with HTTP LCM, of course, but then you need to stop HANA manually before you can perform the registration. Now let's switch to our HANA systems right away and show you how this is done. I'm connected to the primary system, the New York Data Center, and as we can see, the system replication status is green. All services are active and in sync, and we can click the link and it will bring us to our landscape system replication tab. And here we see the same information. Now let's first set the uh, password using the HTTP user store command. Let's minimize Studio now and switch to a terminal session to both the primary and the secondary host. For the connection, use the HANA operating system user. So that will be the SID ADM user. In our case, the system identifier SID is HDB. So our username is HDB ADM. Yours will be different. And then run the HDB user store command with parameter set SR takeover, then the host name colon and the port, the index of a port, which is a format three instance number 15. In our case, we have instance number 00. So our port will be 30015, the system user, and then the password, if you script it, I'm using the minus I flag here, so I can run it interactively. And when I hit enter, I can enter my password. This avoids having the password written to the history file. I repeat the same action on my primary system. Of course, update the host name, and we're good. Now let's switch back to our secondary system. And on the secondary system, switch to the root user to perform the upgrade. We're going to run the HTTP LCM command with flag action equals update. I'm going to select my system HTTP and then the components. I've only installed the database on this system. So I will select component number two. I'm going to enter the password of the system administrator, HTTP ADM, that's the operating system administrator. Confirm database username, enter database user password. Summary before execution and confirm with a yes. And the SAP HANA database will be updated from revision 90 SPS 09 to revision 91. Packages are updated, system will be stopped and start it. For the sake of time, I fast forwarded the installation a bit. Excellent, we can see that SAP HANA has been updated on our secondary server. Let's switch to the ADB HDM user and check the version. So indeed, our secondary system is now on revision 91. And if we do the same on our primary, we can see that the revision is still 90. So we have a system running replication, but using different versions. Let's briefly check the state of the replication on the primary. Well, we can see that everything is still fine. You could also, of course, double check this in HANA Studio on the landscape system replication tab 
and check the replication status. Now we can perform the takeover. We use the HTTP NSUtil command for that, minus SR takeover. I'm doing this on the command line. You could use SAP HANA Studio for this as well, of course. We get the message done and the prompt is returned. We can check the status or the state with the HTTP NSUtil command SR state. And we can see that Washington now is our primary system. The time to perform the takeover would be the actual downtime, system downtime. So it's near zero because it's very quick, but it's not zero. And at this stage, we would need some assistance from the network administrator for switching virtual IP addresses when we are using these or make some changes to the DNS entries so that all the clients will now connect to the secondary system as this is now the production system. We can then switch to what was our primary system and stop HANA, HTTP stop. HANA is stopped. If we believe we switch to SAP HANA Studio, we can see that our secondary system, Washington, is now up and running. It's on revision 91. And our former primary system, New York, is down and ready for upgrade. So let's return to our command line and perform the update command HTTP UPD with the flag no start equals on. Select the installation, system administrator password, and note that the instance will not be started after the upgrade. Again, I will fast forward the installation for the sake of time. And the upgrade is done. Should there be any other component installed like HANA Studio or a HANA client, you would use the HTTP LCM installer to upgrade additional components. Now HANA is still down, so we can now perform the registration with the, uh, the new primary system, which is now in Washington. And we use the HTTP NS YouTube command for that with the SR register flag, provide the virtual name, in this case, New York, the remote host that we be our primary system, now Washington, remote instance number 00, and the mode, which will be here, sync mem, the default. Of course, you would need to run that as the SID ADM user. And after registration, you can start the system. And I started, we can query this state. We see system replication state, site ID is one, this is New York, but the active primer site is two, which is Washington. And then we see the host mapping. Very good, let's refresh this in HANA Studio. We can see that the system replication is active again and everything is in sync. And if we refresh our secondary, it should be up as well, but not accepting any connections. Very good. As you can see, it's quite easy to perform a near zero downtime upgrade using system replication. Performing a near zero downtime upgrade with system replication is documented in the SAP HANA Administration Guide, Chapter 4. You can read or download this guide free of charge from the SAP Help Portal on help.sap.com. Thank you for watching this SAP HANA Academy video.